And tomorrow marks the three year anniversary of the January 6th attack on the U.S. Capitol when thousands of supporters of then President Donald Trump stormed the building to protest the 2020 election results. More than 100 police officers were injured that day. But attitudes about the attack are deeply dividing along partisan lines. NBC 5's Kate Chappell has reaction from local politicians as well as a man who was there that day. I'm anxious, I'm stressed. Larry Legas reflects on his legal battle and participation in the January 6th attack at the U.S. Capitol three years ago. There were a lot of, uh, you know, uh, signs that something was brewing and people trying to provoke people into, you know, possibility doing something crazy. Legas, allegedly shown here in photos laid out in a federal affidavit, was later arrested and charged with four misdemeanor counts, including entering a restricted building and disorderly conduct. It was an awful day. Legas is one of more than 1,200 people charged in connection with that day. He's accused of spending eight minutes in the Capitol Rotunda, but denies ever entering the building. Where inside, Illinois Congressman Brad Schneider was running to safety in the gallery. Before we could make it to the other side, they told us to take cover again. Schneider and his Democratic colleagues are concerned about a recent Washington Post University of Maryland poll that finds a shift in attitudes about the attack divided along partisan lines. Two years ago, 33% of Republicans polled said January 6 was an insurrection. That number is now just 13%. We learn that it could happen again. Uh, if people don't remember history, it can repeat itself. Former Republican Representative Rodney Davis, who lost re-election to a Trump-backed candidate in a redrawn district last year, was also inside the Capitol on January 6th. It's a day that uh, was one of the most terrifying moments I ever had as a member of Congress. Though dissatisfied with the results of the select committee findings, concluding there is enough evidence to convict and charge Trump with assisting an insurrection, Davis is concerned about misinformation around the 2024 election and security at the U.S. Capitol moving forward. The Capitol security apparatus as a whole, I'm afraid, has not prepared enough. I'm always concerned that there's a possibility for violence. And as we get closer to November, uh, that po possibility will only increase. Larry Legas will be back in a D.C. courtroom next week. Meantime, President Joe Biden addressed the anniversary in his first major campaign speech of the year today. Kate Chappell, NBC5 News. Our thanks to Kate.